Okay, I am ramping up my biochar experiment to a larger container. I have been using the smaller one, and you can see the holes that are made in the cover. So what's happening is, is the wood inside heats up but doesn't burn, and all the volatile gases escape through these holes, and it produces this biochar right here. That's how much I've made thus far with that one little can. That's a probably a couple weeks of every night I fill this up and I just set it in the corner right here I don't put it in the fire and then the next morning it's been turned into biochar let's see I don't have a lot of light here but let's see if I can find a place here you can see it just breaks real easy see that? so that's biochar so now I'm going to be using this larger container I don't know if it's going to get completely done in the middle or not I'm going to give it a try. You see, I punched four, five holes. Four in the ends and one in the center. To allow the gases to escape. So I'm going to put the cover on here rather loosely just in case there's a, a problem. There's too many gases that can't escape fast enough. Well, the cover will just pop off. So here I have it on the inside. In the corner. And then I put the little one now down in the opposite corner. Okay, here's the good news. I took them out this morning and they're left the covers on them all day and let it cool down. I guess there's a chance for spontaneous combustion, but I'm not concerned because I'm leaving them in the cans to cool down. See, so here it is. They work pretty good. Yeah, right apart. So we're good to go. Here's the little one. So now I can ramp up my biochar making because now I got a bigger can that works pretty good. Big one there. Here's a smaller one. Here's the biochar made. They work pretty good.